Gran Turismo 7 was announced. They have cars that go room. So now we're going to uh, do, do, do another one of our hot, hot recaps of uh, the last week's PlayStation Showcase, where they announced a myriad of games uh, on, the, on the PlayStation platform. Uh, we, now, we watched it. We have some thoughts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, we watched it. We watched the trailers. We did not watch the showcase itself. Because well, who, who has time for that, really? Well, well, he did more than me. I watched none of that. Now, <laughs> so Dave is going to So I'm going to carry this discussion. He's going to tell us everything <laughs> that was released because he's a sucker who watched the trailers. <laughs> to be fair, I only watched the trailers of the things that interested me. Well, Stuff I didn't care about, like Project Oh, yeah, I, I don't know a project. <laughs> Neither do I. I watched very little of it according to my YouTube app. So, I don't even remember anything about it. So if you're a fan of Project Eve, it exists. That's as much as you're getting. We're doing so good at this I already. know. What's the next one? What's the next one? So the showcase started off with the announcement that the long-awaited and long-rumored Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake would be coming to PS5, and wasn't, isn't it going to be PC a, a, a year after its release or something? Yes, it is a timed exclusive, exclusive. Uh, because PlayStation likes that. Mm -hmm. uh, we are getting a remake of an Xbox exclusive, um, and did, did they even show off gameplay? It was just a cinematic trailer? No, it was just a cinematic trailer of Revan igniting his lightsaber, and that was it. But so, but it is true. Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic is getting remade, and um, I'd imagine it's being ported, right? Like the original game, because like there's like I don't know. there's the Star Wars Bounty Hunter port, the Star Wars Racing true. port, the Star Wars Renegade Commando, or whatever it's called, that got ported. I don't know. I I, I I mean, for one, it's it's like consistently like five bucks on Steam, both get both Knights of the Old Republic games, but. I don't know if they're. I feel like if they're remaking it, I would imagine they would want people more interested in the remake than the original. That's true. But I don't know. Um, personally, I never actually played Nuts of the Old Republic, so I'm very excited for this. I hate that it's a timed exclusive. We'll get to that. But no word as to whether when it's coming out. Again, we only have a minute long uh, cinematic trailer that really, again, didn't really show much. But I'm sure it'll be good. My, one, my biggest question is that when rumors first started swirling of a Knights of the Old Republic remake, um, one of the things that people were talking about was supposedly they were going to be trying to tweak the story just a little bit to make it fit into the newer canon that Disney has created for Star Wars. I thought Knights of the Old Republic was deemed canon already. No, because no. that was before Disney buyout. They, uh, again... Aside from Star Wars, The Clone Wars, they basically decanonized everything that everything from the expanded universe. Um, Still. My guess is that because Night of the Old Republic takes place, you know, hundreds and probably thousands of years before. I think it's a couple thousand. Yeah, before the Skywalker saga. So my guess is that if if they had to tweak it, they certainly would not need to tweak it very much. They so. better not get rid of my favorite character, the robot that hates humans so much and calls them dirty meatbags. Yeah, that's one of the few things I know about Star Wars. Yeah, Star I love Republic. him. HK-47 or something? Something like that. I know it's HK something or other. But, uh, yeah, nice Build Republic remake. Coming soon to a PlayStation 5 near you if you can get one. Oh, which yeah. you probably can't. That's right. We still can't get PS5s or Series Xs. Yeah. All right, what's next? What was the next one? Uh, next one I watched was Alan Wake Remastered. Oh, hold on, hold on. We, we got to go over. Uh, Tiny Tina's w Wonderland. Yes, it still exists. It keeps getting shoved into all of our faces. We discussed this on the 2K E3 coverage. 
Go watch that. Did we? I don't even remember that. We did. It, it was the 2K one where I explained to you how 20 minutes of it was discussing the Borderlands movie, but they didn't show anything. Right. Yep. Oh, we're going to have to review the Borderlands movie for the not, show. Not if we forget it exists. We next probably game. won't. Uh, next game, at least the next trailer that I watched, was the remaster for Alan Wake. A game I never played on the Xbox 360. Really? No, I never got around to it. Well, I uh, think I played maybe like... Half an hour hanging out with you. Maybe. I don't think we did. Then I guess I never played it at all. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Well, if you don't know, Alan Wake's a game that's basically, uh, if, if, if you love Stephen King, it's just uh, uh, this, this theoretical of this writer, uh, uh, not Stephen King, named Alan Wake, who writes a story so good that it actually comes to life and haunts him. So, like, you actually collect storybook pages of the plot trying to figure out who is this uh, monster that's destroying this small town of Maine. <laughs> the entire state of Maine. The entire state of Maine. Man, there's Stephen King loving, loving Maine, and there's this. Yeah, and uh, it, it, it's called The Darkness. That's it, a different game. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That is a different game <laughs> and IP, but... Listen, this was when games started being heavily narrative. Uh, it's great. I actually 100%ed everything mm -hmm. at the beginning of quarantine. Uh, the game still slaps. And, you know, them rema make, uh, remastering Alan Wake, um, it's proof that no one really did care about Control. Because the second DLC of Control was Alan Wake, the second project they do after Control is Alan Wake. <laughs> Which is a thing, because I've heard Control is actually pretty solid. Well, I heard Control is pretty solid, but like I've never actually seen or heard of anyone who bought slash played it. I got it for free with Plus, and I still haven't played it's it. It's on the Game Pass, so I've never touched it. <laughs> I, you know what it's like? It's kind of to me, it, it, Control has the vibe of like the Oscar bait movie, where mm. it's that good game everyone likes, but no one will actually play right. or touch. I have heard. I think I saw this earlier today. Um, Apparently, the remaster is going to be doing away with the, um, the product placement in Alan Wake. No! <laughs> Supposedly. No! I think I saw that. Because the whole point is it was supposed to be like a corny TV. Because I don't know if you remember this, but the, the whole setup where every game was episodes, so mm -hmm. you'd, like, you'd play like two chapters, and then it'd be like, right, and right, then right. show credits, and be like, last time on Asura's Wrath. Mm -hmm. That started from Alan Wake. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Because like, like, it was six chapters, and all six of them would have like an intro of Alan recapping stuff, and then it'd have an outro with like a classic 70s rock song like Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds mm -hmm. or like Boston, right? Which is one of the reasons it was delisted for like two years. Oh. Um, but yeah, they're the ones who started that, and I like that, and like the product placement made sense because it was supposed to be like a TV, and then you had Alan Wake himself narrating in the fourth person, saying, I needed to find the jukebox that was in the corner of the room, but I couldn't find it in the darkness. And like he, him narrating the game of himself doing it. That, that was the whole point, so why would you take out the product placement? I don't know. That's sad. At least you could still play the original on the 360. I'm sorry, on the Xbox Series X via backwards compatibility. There you go. All the DLC's free for it, so... What was the next game? Uh, Ghostwire Tokyo, a game I had very, very little interest in, but then when I saw the trailer they showed off at, this, at the PlayStation Showcase, I'm like, I, I, I'm going to try to do my, my best to do the, the, the eyes emoji. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just, just paste it over my face. There we go. <laughs> um, I still don't really know what Ghostwire Tokyo is about, but it, it looks... Like, it kind of plays like an Arcane Studios game, which I love. And it's got spooky ghosts, and it takes place in Tokyo, and it looks really cool. Again, no idea what the heck the game's about, but it looks rad, and I like things that look rad, especially when it has ghosts in it. That tile reminds me of that one meme where it's like random place, and it's the Wojek that's sad, and then random place, Japan, <laughs> yeah. and they're excited. It's like Ghostwire. <laughs> Ghostwire Tokyo. And then Dave just walks up with the eyes of <laughs> um, Oh boy, more Guardians of the Galaxy, the video game. Yay. Next game. Ugh. I actually saw an article, apparently someone played it and they said it was actually pretty fun. 
Yeah, they also played the Avengers game and said it was pretty fun, and look what happened. Mm. Well, the article specifically said Guardians of the Galaxy is not like Avengers, and that's a good thing. So, take from that what you will. I mean, is it really that hard to be better than the Avengers game? No, not really. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite looked like is the ugliest <laughs> game in existence, and I'd still rather spend 100 hours <laughs> in that than Avengers. But you know what it does have? It has Cosmo the Space Dog. And that's, that, that, that's, that, get, that gets, it gets, it gives it some bonus points for sure. Where's my Hit Monkey video game? <laughs> He's in Lego Marvel too. <laughs> oh, is he really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He is. <laughs> um, next game is a game that sounded really cool, Blood Hunt. And I was, as I was watching this trailer, I'm like, huh, this looks like Vampire the Masquerade. Sure enough, when the title came up, it was a Vampire the Masquerade game. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know this franchise was still viable. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Don Nod's making a Vampire the Masquerade game. Someone else is making a Vampire the Masquerade I think game. Art. I got pushed back. And now Blood Hunt, three Vampire the Masquerade games? <laughs> three Vampire the Masquerade games, apparently. Yo, y'all are nerds. <laughs> <laughs> three Vampire the Masquerade games? <laughs> okay. Uh, sure, I guess. Wait, hold on. <laughs> they announced Kid A Nisha? I don't know what that is. That, um, that's Radiohead. That's Radiohead's... Oh, which album? Third album, which is a masterpiece, Kid A, and then the sequel album to that, Amnesia, they were doing a 30th anniversary collection. But I've been cool. trying to bully him to listen to at least Kid A he for has. like two, three years. Well, now years. that I've seen the Kid A Amnesia ex exhibition PlayStation Showcase 2021 teaser trailer, maybe I'll actually go listen to it. Yeah, huh? yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Oh. What, what's the next one? Adventure uh, next Time, one, the video game? Uh, Uncharted 4 and... Uh, the Lost Legacy. I had to think about the title for a second. Those are both coming to PC. Uh, not the first three games, apparently. Just four in Lost Legacy. Wait. Wait. Time out. What is Lost Legacy? I don't remember that at all. It was, um, was kind of like Wolfenstein, the Old Blood to the New Order. It was like a, like a standalone the expansion for four. Okay. It's pretty good. I, I, I did play it. It's fun. You play as Chloe. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Hey. I remember this now. I remember this now. Now the next big, big announcement. Marvel Spider-Man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop right there. Stop right there. You're skipping over again. And it is... How could I forget? The most important. How could I forget? The objectively best Sony IP. The one that stayed for generations. Gran Turismo 7 was announced. They have cars that go room. Now, Marvel Spider-Man 2. We all knew it was coming, but we have in a reveal trailer. Yes. We got Spider-Man Peter Parker. We got Spider-Man Miles Morales. So actually, the game should have been called Spider-Men. Spider-Men. Spider-Man 2. Good call. But, Good call. Um, you know, whatever. You know. Yeah, I mean, who knows if we're going to be playing as Miles. I don't know. Well, yeah, he had a whole game to himself. Yeah, he had a whole game. Yeah. Move over, Miles. We're done with you. Yeah. Now we got weird, uh, uncanny valley-looking Peter Parker <laughs> again. Oh, that's right. They changed they his changed face. They changed his face. They changed his face. You don't, you don't see it in the trailer, thank God. But it just looks weird. Um, I, everyone else looks the, the same as they did, but Peter just looks different. Now, now, now one thing. Um, so I've been playing more of the uh, Spider-Man PS4. If there's one thing I will give the Spider-Man games credit is they pick some obscure villains for the main villain. So the main villain, now you can tell me a miles after this, but the main villain of Spider-Man, well, for most of it, was Dr. Negative. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. Negative. I'm sorry, Mr. Negative. Mr. He ain't Negative. got no PhD. Uh, yeah, he's got PhD in negativity. <laughs> um, and I honestly, because usually they use him for plots that involve Venom. Right, because that's oh, how I, I have no idea. No, because that's how Anti Venom was made. He made oh, Anti Venom. Okay. So, so they use him a lot in Venom stories. But I like that. And in the, if we and who was the main bad guy? In My, was there a main bad guy? In My Tinkerer. Bless you. <laughs> now, the the villains from the show. They showed off two villains. Now, well, they they showed off one. One. They they heavily heavy he, they heavily heavily imply another. 
where it's almost painfully obvious who it is. <laughs> and it's Craven the Hunter, which my boy. That he is not really that used, but I I, I like Craven. I think he's really he's cool. Really, I mean, what's the last thing we saw Craven in that was like big? I can't even think of anything. Ooh, um, I mean, probably one of the Disney XD Spider-Man shows. I imagine. No one likes but I don't. Those. Yeah. Um, wh wait, was he even in Spectacular Spider-Man? I. It's been years. I haven't watched Spectacular Spider-Man since it aired. So possibly. Wait, let's watch Spectacular Spider-Man. But, but they also have Venom, in the trailer, who's voiced by Tony Todd, A.K.A. Candyman. Candyman. Very good casting. Uh, they're going to have Venom shenanigans. Um, although it is, I mean, the game's going to have to explain how Venom happens without Peter being... Yeah, um, unless... they, they do... Uh, have you beaten the first one? No, not yet. All right, so minor spoiler, because we already saw him in the trailer. Yeah. They do tease Venom in the after credit scene of the first game, but it's a... It's a very different version of the symbiote than the one we're used to where it comes from the moon. And Eddie Brock is nowhere to be found. So I really don't know how they're going to do this. I heard someone say it might be Harry. Yeah. It might be Harry as Venom instead of Eddie Brock. Because, but... that, again, so again, spoiler alert, that is kind of... Harry and, Ven and the symbiote are intrinsically linked in that after credit scene. Okay. We're still not really sure how. I'm sure Spider-Man 2 will go into that. Of course. Uh, and, um, and that was the last one, right? Um, no, oh, God. It, oh, no. It reset. I got to scroll back down. No! No! In addition to Marvel Spider-Man 2, Insomniac Games has also announced that they are working on a Wolverine game. Uh, we know nothing except that it's a Wolverine game. Because it's a 54-second teaser that is just Wolverine sitting in a bar with a bunch of people knocked out behind him. Next thing. <laughs> Next thing is the big boy, God of War, Ragnarok. Looks yeah. cool. Yeah. I really liked the, the, the last God of War. Yeah, it was, it was cute. It was yeah. cool. It's cool. And that was the whole place. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? What? There's no more cars. They don't go vroom. Yes, but on the topic of God of War, have you seen the character posters? Uh, for Thor for being Thor. big, hunky, chunky man? For, the, for, for big boy Thor. Big boy Thor. Now, you, now people, if you've seen Avengers Endgame, everyone loved, you know, fat, fat, Thor. fat Thor. You ain't seen nothing. Oh. You ain't seen nothing until you see God of War Ragnarok Thor. This man's got a big old Santa belly. He's a big man. In fact, I think the plot twist is that it, it, it is, in fact, Santa Claus. You know, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Yeah. And that was the whole PlayStation Showcase. Um, pretty good, but we're going to have some few choice words on our next segment about mm -hmm. a certain issue that we've noticed. Uh, but yeah, um, announcement-wise, uh, I think that's a solid, like, B. Yeah, B that's, pretty, that's pretty good. Showing. Right. I mean, we did the only things that really got a fit, like announced, announced that were worth. It was like Spider Man Two. Was like yeah, Wolverine, Spider Man, Spider Man, Knights Star of the Wars, Republic. and Wolverine. Like anything, everything else is just kind of like we knew about. Yeah, they just showed. Or either more didn't really stuff. care about. Yeah. Showed more stuff. But yeah, that's um, that's that. That's that.